Hey everyone, I just wanted to give a little bit of insight into what we're looking at today. We're actually looking at the combined sale of two units, but the reason I'm doing this tour together is because these units have the rights to be combined into one massive unit. Just wanted to emphasize that, now let's take a look at the tour. Welcome back to my channel. But if this is your first time here, my name is Jason Matuk. I'm a realtor here in South Florida, and I'm gonna be taking you through some of the nicest homes on the market. And if you'd like to see some more luxury home tours, go ahead and subscribe to my channel below. And you know what? While you're here, why not just like this video? Go ahead, like it. We're gonna start with unit number 804 and let's begin. So coming on in, here we have, you know, a nice open living room. I really like this living room because one, you have these open long windows and these windows have automatic um, blinds that come down. I know a million comments I got on that penthouse tour video was, won't everybody see me when I'm changing in the shower? Well, you have automatic blinds that come down so you don't have to worry about that problem. Plus no direct condos in front of you. So it's really just you looking out into the ocean and you can see all along these 20, $30 million beachfront houses. And then we're gonna take a look at this kitchen, which is outfitted. Look at the thickness of the granite marble that they have right here. It's really, really thick, bigger than my hand, very nice. And then the whole kitchen in itself just has like a really zen, peaceful vibe. You have the, the sliding top cover for the dishes huge five burner gas stove, which is really interesting to see in a condo. You don't really see that very often. The hooded vent, and then comes down to a Wolf coffee maker, microwave, oven, everything beautiful. And then on top of having your Sub-Zero fridge right here, you have a Sub-Zero wine cooler right next to it. Very nice, nice enough, great enough space for what you're doing. Again, if you combine them, maybe you can move the kitchen around, but I think the way it is right here looks perfect. So coming from here, we're gonna go take a look at the two other bedrooms. All right, so coming down, we're gonna pass one of the bathrooms. This is just the half bathroom for the guests. And then on your right, you have what they've made into an office. And just really quick, I wanna show in this office, it's really nice, tons of light. I, we only have one or two lamps turned on and it's bright, like as if every light in the whole building was on. Has its own full bathroom and its own access to the balcony and outside. Amazing views, a great place to think and do your work, and a full walk-in closet. All the bedrooms have a walk-in closets. And then coming through this way, we're gonna pass the laundry room. So in this condo, it has its own laundry room. Very nice to have, very convenient. Of course, in a place like this, you're not gonna have shared laundry rooms, but it's also like a walk-in laundry room, and it has a storage closet as well. And then coming in, this is just one of the bedrooms on the far left side. And then this bedroom is the size of a typical master bedroom. It has tons of space to walk in. It's not very crammed in here. And then you have your own view of the balcony and the ocean, and it just looks really nice. And then this window right here is actually where, the, where you would knock it down to combine the two units. And we'll take a look at that second unit after this. We're gonna go take a look at the most delicious master bedroom I've ever seen. So coming across, I forgot to mention the, the dining room, very beautiful as well. Yeah, so just take a look at while I'm walking, the, the peaceful hallway passing the uh, outdoor sitting area to eat, unlimited space outside, and then we're coming past all of this into the master bedroom. And this master bedroom is incredible because it has, right outside, a stairs leading to a private pool where it's just you and the ocean. Two sides of your wall are the ocean. The other side is lush luxury houses with beautiful uh, landscaping. And then it's just, it's just an overwhelming side of luxury. I really love this one. And then we're gonna come into this. This master bedroom makes me 
want to cry. <laughs> when you come in, it's really nice, comes across nicely, leading out into your view of the ocean and also of your private jacuzzi pool area. A nice freestanding tub and then take a look at this shower. The shower is actually right here. It just has the faucets. I've never actually seen a shower like this. It's very, very interesting, but you kind of just come on in here and that's it. You take the shower right here. There's the drainage system at the bottom. And then we'll take a look really quick. This is just the toilet. Automatic toilet that opens up when you walk in. I wasn't expecting that, that's very cool. <laughs> then this is where the closet would be. And you'd think, oh wow, this is the closet? Wrong, it goes all the way down here. It goes all the way down here and you can see the length of the closet. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the balcony terrace area. We're gonna start back by the living room so you can see it and then we'll end at the, the pool area, which I am really excited for. Hurricane, I have to mention this because not everyone knows, but in Florida, everything is gonna be hurricane impact. You don't have to worry, it's the house is not gonna blow away if the hurricane comes. So coming out, while we're out here, I'd like to mention the thing that makes this unit very special is that wall and the, the ability to extend this unit out and have the same square footage as the penthouse is actually something that only this unit is allowed to do. It's been grandfathered in. So if you own this, you are one of the only people that can do something like this and extend these two units and make it really whatever you want. Again, excuse the fact that there's no floors. They're still leaving that open that you can add your own floors, but right now it's missing the floors, but Who's even looking at the floors when you have this insane view behind you of the open ocean? So now we're going to take a look. Just notice the length of this terrace. As you're walking down, you know, first of all, very quiet. All I can hear is the sound of the rippling water from the ocean. Past a nice dining table that, to be honest, could be three or four times this size if you really wanted it to be. But this is a very modest, uh, smaller dining table. And you can just see, it's almost like you're walking into the, to the wards, the light, because you're coming and you don't see any sand. It's, it's just, this, this may as well be a cruise ship balcony. But we're just gonna take a look. We're walking straight up, watch your step. And then it takes you out onto this amazing outdoor <laughs> terrace area. Just really honestly incredible. You know, it just has the most amazing views. You can see out over into all of Fort Lauderdale Beach very beautiful and then obviously tons of places to tan have the outdoor dining table just hang out with a bunch of friends throw a party you know it's just it's really just a perfect place for that and if we're going to come over here we're going to walk across and then just take a look at this stairs leading up to your pool jacuzzi just a great addition to have keep it very private you don't have to go across lobbies especially during a time like this during the quarantine this is a must have in any household I'm sure if you lived here, it would be hard to remember that there is even a quarantine going on. Very, very nice. So that was unit 804. We're gonna go take a look at unit 802 now. We have to go back to the lobby and go down the hallway to get to that unit. But once you connect these two units, all you have to do is just go down, down the hall. All right, so now we're at unit 802. And it, this is the other addition to the what is going to be the penthouse. So if you end up cutting that room in half, breaking down the wall and bring it over here, you end up with what you're about to see, which is gonna be a unit that's the exact, almost the exact same size as the penthouse that's $13 million upstairs. Let's get started. So you come in, you still get the same oceanfront views as the unit uh, 804. However, this is a different angle. So now you're, you're almost doing a complete uh, 180, 360 of the ocean views. So this is the ocean view you have and you'll see it on the other side as well. We're gonna take a little quick turn. This kitchen, in my opinion, I would probably let this kitchen be the one that you, would be the main kitchen between the two if you combine this and make it a penthouse. This kitchen's huge, unlimited storage space, five burner gas stove again, vent for the, so no smoke, nice island in the middle, storage underneath. You have not one, but two sub-zero wine cooling fridges. You have the same Wolf appliances, Wolf oven, Wolf coffee maker. And then again, you have a really nice and sleek wooden cover over the sub-zero fridge, which is bigger than I am. 
uh, really like that. And then I love the position that they put the, the sink in. I love the idea of being able to clean dishes, look out into the ocean. Um, I guess if you lived here, maybe you wouldn't clean your own dishes, but you know what, I would. I would. So leading from this kitchen, you cross over to the dining room. The, the thing that's really incredible about this is every space in this house, you can see the ocean, which is obviously the most important thing. And then coming from the dining room leads you into formal sitting room. This could be where you'd put the TV and whatnot, but again, depending on what you would do once you combine these two units, this could be anything. Maybe just an extended sitting room for the master that's right off there. And then you have this incredible view of the balcony. This balcony is only for the living room and the master bedroom. This is the only, the only two rooms that get access to this balcony. The other side of the, the suite has its own uh, views as well. So we're gonna take a look into the master bedroom. Love how big and open this master bedroom is. Again, waking up, just coming from the bed, looking up, seeing the open ocean. I can't imagine how beautiful that must be. And then it takes you down into this bathroom and the closets. So the closet isn't done yet. The floor is still in construction. You can pick your own floors that you'd like in here, but it's a huge walk around closet that will, once it's done, be amazing. And then coming into the master bathroom, this master bathroom is incredible. It has the the bathroom toilet on one side, the shower on one side, stand-in tub or sit-in tub in the middle, and then this nice display that's really elegant, two, two double sinks that you get just like the other one. Just a really nice space, really clean. I love how it feels. And uh, leaving this place, we're gonna go take a look, walking back through the living room. We're gonna head over to the other bedrooms in this unit. Now we're crossing where the elevator was. So you get, it's a split floor plan in a condo, which is really nice. Master on one side, Kids' bedrooms on the other side. Let's go over here. So coming in, full bathroom, uh, stand-in shower, everything you'd need. And then what they have this room, I assume this would be another guest suite, but how they have it uh, positioned right now is like a family suite, like a, like a family game room between these bedrooms. So this room is actually a huge open broom. You could definitely fit another king-size bed in here, or you can keep it just like this as a game room. And this is actually where the split ends. So that wall that you see out there is where the second unit combines with this unit. If you were to knock that wall down and it would continue from here, this is the last bedroom on the other side, continues onto this side. Same views that you get over there, but this time you get more of the landscaping and the city side, which is also very beautiful. It's not a congested city. You're still looking at 15, $20 million houses on the beach. Just love the whole layout of this place. And then you can see the amount of space it has. It has a lot to offer and it almost has its own little private balcony because you technically can't walk to that balcony on the other side of the room, so it's really, really nice. Okay, and then coming down to these bedrooms, we're gonna pass the laundry room. Uh, so they have the bedroom, nice size, walk-in closet, its own suite bathroom, and then beautiful views of the city and the beach. And then the last bedroom on the right, they have one more over here, and this bedroom has a bigger balcony, a bigger uh, bathroom, and it's just, again, very beautiful. This one definitely has more of a city vibe. You can still see the ocean if you look onto this angle, but the whole appeal of this one is truly the city. And you can actually, in this bathroom and bedroom, you can see the inlet right down across the water over there. All right, well, I really appreciate you taking the time to follow me through this tour. If you have any questions about this property, you can contact me below. Once the virtual tour of this property is done, you'll be able to see it right here. And once that tour, if it's not here right now, that means I'm not done with it, I'm still working on it. In the meantime, enjoy, enjoy one of my other tours down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you. All right, that's fine.